Next question is from Nay Nay Mud. Is five by five effective? Yeah, so yeah. five by five, so, five so effective. Five. Most all of our programs have some sort of five That's by five. That's all training. I was doing to establish with the football team, like just like throughout their programming previous to that, and just try to keep it as simple as possible. It's the best programming for just getting to the very totally. meat and core. Uh, you know, of what to do in the gym. Yeah, for people who don't know, five by five is five sets of an exercise and five reps. And why is it so effective? Number one, there's more to this than just that. It's, it, they place a heavy emphasis on compound lifts. So if you look at five by five programming, it's usually squats, deadlifts, bench press, overhead press, rows. So that's part of the reason why it's so effective. The other reason is, because they make you do five sets of an exercise. Good practice. Yeah, you practice mm -hmm. them very often. You get a lot of central nervous system adaptation. These are technical exercises. Practicing them, you know, set after set makes you really good at them. And then, of course, because of what I said earlier, you picked these compound lifts. Like, if you get a little bit better at a barbell squat, the returns are so much greater than if you got a little bit better at, you know, a leg press or a leg extension or something like well, that. Well, yeah, if you're running a five by five, you're not doing 10 different exercises. No. You're doing a handful of exercises. You're more likely going to pick, or you should if it's a good five by five program, pick the big compound ones, mm -hmm. and you're getting great practice. You know, you got two or three sets to get in the groove, and then you got two or three sets where you're actually hitting it really well. And I think for anybody who's just starting in the gym, or even if you're, you've been in the gym for a couple of years, you're still relatively new to training that those movements we talk about it on the show all the time how important they are to practice mm -hmm. and just and that adds up when the average person's only doing programs that are two to three sets in there and you're doing five you're doing damn near double the work yep. on the movements that are most important you're going to get and over the course of weeks months and a year of training this way you're going to get a hell of a lot more practice than the average person yeah and i like it too with the lower reps because then you can really you know eliminate some of the fatigue yes uh, you, you would normally get with high reps and then really perform them at their best uh, especially with these compound lifts, and then you're still getting the volume because you got five sets. So to your guys' point of, of being able to get that kind of practice, so you hone in on those skills while also performing them at a really high level. That's why I like 5x5. Five yeah, because five. some people, what they would do, right, instead of doing, if they, okay, let's say the options were 5x5 five five or their regular program. Usually what it would look like is two or three sets of one exercise, two or three sets of another exercise versus five sets of a compound lift. So- you can think of two leg exercises, not including squats, that you did five sets total for versus five sets of squats. I don't know if I can think of any combination of two exercises that would give you more bang for your buck than just five sets of mm -hmm. squats. That's a big reason. Right. Now, when does this become not effective? When this is all you do yeah, all the you're time. you're doing it too long. Yeah, and what you'll notice, this is what I notice and with clients too, if you stick to this long enough, I'd start to get issues in my joints because oh, yeah. of the heavy weight and because I'm doing the such repetitive mo movements. Right. I would notice my hips or my shoulder or my knees. There's not enough other planes uh, accounted for as well, too. So we got to, you know, consider training in the frontal plane and the transverse plane, not yeah. just sagittal. So not just, you know, what's in front of you, what's behind you. Yeah. And also not doing higher reps. I mean, that too. yeah. I mean, you go from five by five, you knew that for six months. Switch to like 10 reps or 15 reps. Watch what happens uh, to your body. So anything could be uh, abused and will stop working. But overall, with all the popular programming that's out there that's well known, I'd say five by five is, is top. It's pretty solid. Oh, it's top top five or top three even for me.